In this video, you're going to learn how to change a repeating decimal into a fraction or a rational number. A rational number is like a ratio of an integer over an integer. So this first example, we've got 2 and 35, 35, 35, 35, 35. It keeps repeating, right? So how do we change this into a fraction or a rational number? Well, this part here was already like a whole number, 2. So let's just focus on the repeating part, the 0 0.353535. 35. So what you can do, because there's two... Uh, decimal places here being repeated, we're going to take this number and we're going to say n is equal to 0 0.35, 35, 35. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 100. When I multiply by 100, that moves this decimal two places to the right. So we're going to say 100 times our number is equal to 35.353535. On and on, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract so that this repeating part here is canceling out, okay, all the way down. And so you can see we're just left with 100 minus 1n is 99n, and that equals 35. Then we can divide both sides by 99 to solve for n, our number. And let's see, now we have n equals 35 over. 99. Now you could try to reduce this down, but it doesn't look like there's anything that goes into 35 and 99 evenly. So our number is going to be 2 and 35 99ths. Now if you want, you can write this as an improper fraction if you wanted to multiply 99 times 2 and add it to 35 and put that over 99. But this is basically rewriting it you know, as a fraction as opposed to a repeating decimal. So let's take a look at another example. So we have 0. 0.3121212. We want to write this as a fraction. So how do we do that? Well, what's interesting here is it's not this, it's not like it's 312 repeating, like 312, 312. It's just this 1, 2. So what do we do with this uh, 0.3 here in front? Well, there's a couple different ways to look at it, but let's take a look at one method here, which is let's go ahead and uh, say that this is our number n. And let's multiply both sides of this equation by 1,000. So by multiplying by 1,000, we're going to move this decimal place three places to the right, right? So 10, 100,000. So that's going to give us 1,000 times our number n is equal to 312.121212. And it keeps going, right? Now, remember, when we subtract, we want to re, uh, remove or eliminate that repeating portion of our decimal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation here now by 10. So if I do that, that gives us 10 times n is equal to 3.121212. And so now look what's happening. See how that repeating portion, when we subtract, is going to cancel out? Okay, which is what we want. So this is going to give us now 990 times our number n is equal to 309. And we don't have that repeating portion any longer. But to solve for our number n, we're going to divide by 990 to get n by itself, right? Whatever we do to the left, we want to do to the right. And we can reduce this down a little bit. It looks like uh, 3 goes into both the numerator and denominator. So this would come out to 103 divided by 330. Now the nice thing about this is you can check your work. Remember the fraction bar is like a division sign. So you could put in your calculator 103 divided by 330 and you'll get back this 0 0.3121212 like that. And you can check your work. Or you can divide it by hand as well. But either way you can check and you got it. So if you want to see some more examples I did another video like this previously talking about converting repeating decimals to rational numbers. Follow me over to that video right there and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you over at that video.